。哇，大家好，今天是这个天气特别好的情况下呢，我们来到了燕瑞林乒乓球运动这个训练中心。今天有一个会是我们大家非常想知道的，也就是我们庆祝中国美中美这个四十年乒乓外交新闻稿。在这同时呢，我们还有最近要举办了一个叫亚亚文杯团体赛。那么坐在我旁边的这位。老总，你们都认识，他也要参加我们的亚温杯的比赛，而且是代表金门这个团队来来参加。那么金门当然是呃，这个一定是要赞助这个这个这个比赛，而且呢，老板也想锻炼锻炼身体，让我们更加年轻，更有活力，是不是，老板？胡老板你好。应该是这样吧。那实际上呢，<笑>我觉得这个乒乓球的运动也是一个老少现役的运动。年纪大、年纪小都可以。像我这个年纪了，我别的运动现在减少了。我觉得乒乓球还是一个不错的运动。我觉得这比你的高尔夫好像容易一点吧？不用、啊、没有雨、没有什么挡了、啊、都可以、啊。是的，是的。同时呢，那么我同丽丽一呢，那个我们也认识了好多年了。那么因此呢，一直呢，他的这个在乒乓球的方面呢，他也有很多的。呃，也是以前是一个很好的呃世界级的呃队员、运动健将。那么目前呢，他在这方面呢，我觉得我们公司能够也可以多一点朋友来支持他在乒乓球在美国的发展的呃这个方向。因此呢，我们也愿意、呃、一方面也锻炼身体了，一方面呢，我们也算是对他的一个资助。那我们讲讲咱们团体吧，亚文杯的这个咱们金门这个队是都有谁呀、啊？谁组成啊？你是带队的吗？啊，没有，我本身呢，我们现在在刚刚在呃准备吧。准备。我现在还没有确实的，呃，主要在于参与吧。我们能够呃，希望在乒乓球呢，能把这个很好的运动呢，也在美国方面呢，除了我们中国人、亚洲人。也很多的，我也发现了，在这里呢，也有很多的美国人也有兴趣，呃，来参加。那我觉得这个是一个不错的一个、呃、运动，同时呢，也算乒乓也算是我们的中国的一个蛮重要的一个文化。对。我们那个时候呢，四十年前呢，我们中国同美国的关系也是从打乒乓球那时候开始的。因此呢，我觉得这个也是一个呃很难得的机会。来参参与这个一次的亚文杯的呃这个活动。看，我们亚文杯是下个月就开始了。是的。是吧？我们是在什么地方？还是在这边吗？我想应该是在这里，因为现在这一个莉莉叶的这个乒乓球的呃这个俱乐部呢，也可以说是在全美国东部或者全美国也不一定是一个又新的也是最有规模的一个。一个呃乒乓球的一个场所，因此呢，我们能有机会在就在在它附近吧。我们在新泽西州有这样的一个乒乓球的这个给我们活动的地方呢，我觉得我们也是很幸运。因此，我们应该要把握这个机会，一方面也来打球，一方面也交朋友吧。这边呢，我们也认识了很多朋友。是。我们这个叶瑞玲这个乒乓球训练中心是全世界，就是说国际评委他们评的是就是 professional 的哈专业训练场地之一。那在我们美国呢，东部也就这一家，所以说他这边的这个地板呢，全部都是按照二零零八年奥林匹克要求的地。地板来设计的，所以说这是一个非常有这个专业性的一个 facility， 也希望我们大家都一起来共度咱们这个这个乒乓球由乒乓球带来的友谊，还有中美的这个外交关系。是的，因此呢，我想呢，那个其他的关于乒乓球方面的这些历史啊，呃，这个呃情况呢，那我想你要去。访问那个我们今天的主人。主人好，我们下边，对我们下边就要要采访这个丽丽叶，还有她这个四十年前参加中美乒乓球比赛的一个外国人，他叫 George， 呃，他叫 George b r i s w i t h 他已经年龄八十岁左右，可是看上去非常年轻。所以下边我们来跟 George 谈几句。谢谢老板。谢谢丽丽。<笑> okay. All right. Well, we just talked to uh the uh. 
the president and CEO of a Kenman supermarket just now with a well-known who. And now we have the gentleman that you cannot really miss the opportunity. This is a, one of the golden opportunity here at a Lily Yip table tennis facility in uh, Donella, New Jersey. And his name is George Brithwitz, right? I pronounce okay? Okay, close enough to write. Okay, he is a Hall of Famer in the uh, uh, in the United States the Table Tennis Association. Okay, and uh, he was one of the member that we got a ping pong diplomatic uh, relationship with China back in 1971. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Nice meeting you here. Thank you. Nice to be here. And what brought you over here today with such a beautiful weather, by the way? Well, I am a very good friend of uh, Lily Yips and her husband Barry Detel. And um, I always try to be accommodating whenever they invite me uh, to their club or to come visit them. And uh, because this year is the 40th anniversary of Ping Pong Diplomacy, it puts a little more uh, emphasis on my visit here. Uh, uh, that's one of the main reasons why I am here, because this year, as you may know, is uh, a significant and very important year in the celebration of the ping pong diplomacy. Uh, there's a lot of emphasis in many parts of the world, as a matter of fact. Um, and here in the United States, uh, to begin with, negotiations begun in April of last year in Moscow between uh, the Chinese delegation and the United States Table Tennis Association uh, officials. And um, after many changes have been made, the final decision to date is that China is sending over a delegation of officials and table tennis players and um, we'll be meeting late June at the U.S. National Championships in Milwaukee. Uh, from there, they'll be going on to San Francisco and then to the Nixon Library Foundation wow. in Southern California. So uh, it's a very, very important year in the continued celebration of the are you going to be uh, following that delegation as one of the members? Yes, I have been invited uh, as one of the original members uh, of the Ping Pong Diplomacy. And uh, as a matter of fact, probably still the most active of all the members who participated in the game at that time. Okay. So now, you mean back in 1970, back in, right? Back in 1971. So now uh, I'll be going out to San Francisco and at the Nixon Library Foundation, which is in Southern California. And I hope to see my good friend uh, Leanne Colian, who in 71 was really one of the best players in the world. And uh, he and I, whenever he comes over, we would play exhibition matches. And uh, because, you know, there have been many celebrations over the years. The 25th, uh, when the Chinese Association sent over, again, a delegation of players and officials. We played exhibition matches at the United Nations in New York and from there on in other parts of uh, So I always play against Liang and uh, I'm looking forward to that one more time. Well, to tell you the truth, you look fantastic. I was going to ask you, what's the secret of keeping you so young? You were saying ping pong is one of the key sports for you to keep the longevity, was that right? That's true, that's true. Ping pong is really, you know, the sport and the game itself really provide a lot of health benefits for those of us who play. You know, when played at a normal, ordinary level, it's good for the hand-eye coordination because there are athletes in other sports that play a little ping-pong to either maintain or improve their hand-eye coordination. 
when played at a slightly higher level, uh, it's good for the cardiovascular. And at the highest level, it's a good form of aerobics because of the constant movement involved. Plus, I get a chance to meet beautiful young people like you. And, um, and you put all the thoughts together. It There's nothing to lose. There's right? nothing to lose. <laughs> well, today for the press conference, are you going to show us some of your exhibition of how to play ping pong so we can witness the best player <laughs> on earth? <laughs> well, I would like to demonstrate even to a small extent. Okay. Know. That would be great. And we look forward to that, sir. I look forward to entertaining you. Okay. Look at that. It's beginning. So let's have a talk shortly after this. Okay? Great. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, that's it, the gentleman from the uh, uh, the key person, one of the members that we got at United uh, Sino USA Ping Pong Diplomatic Relations back in 1971, and he is one of the Hall of Famer George uh, the, uh, Briswood. So let's wait until he's going to demonstrate some exhibition game for us after the press conference. Lily Green for ST SPN TV live at the Allen, New Jersey, at the Lily Yip Table Tennis Facility. Okay. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to welcome everybody to this press conference. Um, thank you so much for coming. Today, we are here to celebrate the 40th anniversary of ping pong diplomacy and announce the next major tournament on June 11th is Asian Cultural Cup Team Championship, Media Group Championship. And uh, USA TV sanctioned single event on 12. So, as everybody knows, since the American table tennis team was invited to China for the first time in April 1971, Chinese American relationship has blossomed. So, therefore, today's activity has a special meaning. So, we are very fortunate to have the one of original American paper tennis team member that visited China in 1971. So, here's George Frazier. So, George was the USATD Vice President, Hall of Famer, and was the national champion over 40, over 50, over 60 and over 70. <laughs> so I believe he will be the champion in the over 80 and over 90. So, so Team Bogan is supposed to come today, but he has to, you know, he said has some health problems and he can make it. So Tim was our USAT president and historian. So he just say hi to everybody. He said, I wish everything well and that. And I hope with through this team championship, we can encourage the spirit of the togetherness and the team spirit. As my friend and my teacher, um, also he is the former USATD Vice President, Vice City Center. It's a ping pong brings people together. So please allow me to introduce our major organizer and sponsor, and the director of the Asian Culture Media Group, Yenai 进行摸索和研究大家都知道在 
呃，从此呢，这个中美两国外交史对的坚冰就被踏破了。呃，那么写下了以小球推动大球的，呃，世界外交史上的这么一个新篇章。那么也传出了，呃，世界历史上以“乒乓外交”这个词汇，呃，这个形成了佳话。在今年，我认识了莉莉叶。那她是这个专业球员出身，并且是现今最有成就的呃美国乒乓球教练员。那么有这么好的训练基地，所以我们一拍即合，借助呃中美乒乓外交四十周年这个契机呢，来组织一次以华人社区为主的乒乓球团体赛。我们也可能有一些呃老外的就是参加，啊，那么。由于中国的强大，现在呃也也有很多的中国人啊、呃、定居和这个工作旅游在美国。那么随着中国的强大呢，美国对中国是越来越尊重、越来越重视。所以我们希望通过多做一些活动，来尽自己的力量呢，去这个为中美关系的发展做出贡献。这就是我们呃做这次乒乓球团体赛的初衷。我就讲这。Former Vice President Joe Hello and Nihao. Nihao. Nihao back. Yeah. You know, my good friend Lily、uh, mentioned all the championships that I have won the Open Forty, the Open Sixty, etc. And then I suddenly remember that a good friend of mine. Uh, said that he hopes he is around when I win the Open 100. Anyway,、um, I, I would like to first say that and acknowledge that、uh, Lindy Yip and Barry Dattel are two individuals who have put so much into the sport of table tennis. That、uh, I honestly believe that they are the best table tennis family here in the United States to significantly promote the sport、uh, in this country. Now, this year, as we all know, would be the 40th anniversary of ping pong diplomacy. And because of the significance of this event, having paved the way for establishing better relations between China and the United States,、uh, it's it's an historic event, as a matter of fact.、Um, there are many celebrations from time to time that takes place. I remember when we celebrated the 25th anniversary. Uh, China sent over a delegation of officials and players, and we played quite a few exhibition matches at the United Nations headquarters in New York and other places.、Uh, this year,、uh, there will be many exhibition matches played in Milwaukee. Where the U.S. Open Championships will be held late in June, early July.、Uh, from there,、uh, they'll be going on to San Francisco and to Southern California, the Nixon Library Foundation, and more exhibition matches will be played there. And I, I'm, I'm really honored、uh, to be here. And、uh, I, I would like to give so much credit to the Chinese Table Tennis Association, in particular, for embracing and keeping this、uh, celebration alive because of the significance and the impact that it has had, establishing diplomatic relations between、uh, two of the major powers、uh, in the world. I remember one incident <clears throat> in '71. The day we were on the way to the the Great Wall,、uh, when one of the interpreters, Chinese interpreters, 
found out that I work at the United Nations, he came and sat next to me. And after a while he said, uh, I understand that you work at the United Nations. I said, uh, yes I do. He said, well, do you think that China would be accepted as a member nation of the United Nations at the next meeting of the General Assembly? Usually the General Assembly is from September through December of every year. So I said, well, uh, I'm not really in an official capacity, so I don't think I, I can give a, a good enough uh, response to that question. He never gave up. He said, well, if you were in an official capacity, would you vote in favor of China being accepted as a nation? I said, well, if I were, I would vote that all nations become member nations of the United Nations because of what the organization stands for, world peace, etc. Well, we should actually have you as a general ambassador for all nations then. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to hold you to that. Then. Okay. <laughs> so, but in reference to why we're here, and what we're actually discussing and talking about is the fact that um, the Ping Pong Diplomacy celebration, which takes place from time to time, is so significant in the eyes of China and the United States. And it gives me great pleasure to be a part of this uh, conference here today. And um, I'm very happy that my good friend Lily and Barry have uh, once more invited me to participate uh, in this. And I'm looking forward to many other celebrations. Any opportunity I can get to visit them, say hello, makes me feel good and it, it adds to my longevity. Uh, I think Lily wanted to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you very much and um, I hope we have a, a very good evening here. I look forward to many more uh, opportunities like this. And uh, I hope uh, all the reporters here will be reporting on upcoming celebrations from time to time because it is a great event and it bears a lot of significance and good happening, good tidings. So thank you very much. Long time sponsor, Mr. Who, from the Common Tour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In any, any language. And uh, Lily, yep, I know her for quite many years. And uh, actually, our ten men full with him has averaged 50 years ago. And fortunately, we get a uh, successful because we have a community, a lot of Chinese. And, American customers support. So that's why I always will be participating and to uh, try to contribute something to the community. So supporting the uh, sports, I think that would be good for the young people and also uh, that's my uh, goal. That's why 10 years ago we have a participate and to sponsor for the Cup in the tennis, tennis uh, uh, tournament in, uh, in New Jersey. Um, now I think the ping pong is a Chinese table tennis. Actually it's getting, uh, it's actually it's, uh, just like what you say as a Chinese, Chinese uh, sports because this is a little easier, you don't need so big spaces. So, uh, I will uh, 
really su supporting and uh, participate for all kind of events. The uh, Lily Yip for asking me. Thank you. I say <laughs> I, uh, also I personally I would uh, stay my sometimes for my exercise <laughs> in, in her so nice new ten, table tennis clubs. So that's why I said I will be fully support and also I need all the uh, people uh, to give her a uh, big support. Hoping she will be very successful in this building. Thank you. Thank you. Then you want to build your walls? It's uh, awesome. <laughs> well, I'll only be talking for about like two hours, so don't worry. <laughs> I've known Lily for a long time. Mm -hmm. She's always set very high goals and standards for herself and for her students and for people around her. The center is probably her biggest achievement so far. So we don't really know what she's going to do next, what she's capable of. I've been a junior sponsor for a long time. I have a real estate business. And I just wanted to tell you a short story. As a real estate person, I helped a large American family find an apartment. Two parents, six children at home. Both parents worked full time. One was in a factory, one was in a hospital. So it was a very hard lifestyle. So the six kids generally watched each other. The six kids took care of each other. And it wasn't a great situation. The kids were on the street. The kids were loose. So Lily and I donated a table. We had a table. Lily was nice. She let me borrow her van. Delivered the table. So they had a large unfinished area. No heat. No walls. Just an unfinished attic. But large enough for ping pong. Because your ping pong requires space. That's one thing we know. <laughs> so we brought the ping pong table up. We assembled it. And now, the kids are playing ping pong in the house. Their friends are playing ping pong in the house. And their parents are playing ping pong together, off the street. I mean, it's not a great neighborhood. It's not a great area. So it's quite an achievement. You know, I feel very proud. Lily, you should feel proud, too, what you did. But things like this take money, and they take support. And. Um, as a junior sponsor, I, you know, I'd like to encourage everybody, and you can probably get the word out, that you know, ping pong is a labor of love, and it needs to continue ping pong, the idea of ping pong diplomacy, and the idea, the philosophy of YC Lee, that ping pong brings people together. It really needs support, and nourishment, and participation, and dollars, really. I've managed to put in what I can, but it really needs a lot. And um, I want to take this opportunity to announce the format. We're going to start two more leagues here. I'm going, to, I'm going to sponsor two more leagues. One is it's going to be recreational, really geared toward adults, like you and me, I guess. <laughs> and, you know. and the other is going to be an instructional league, which will combine recreation with some coaching and training. But again, these things need support, and to ensure their success, we need participation. And I want to, you know, just again, give Willie our appreciation. Give her a little round of Thank you. And George, George was his long career in the sport. Uh, George has done uh, so much for the sport, going back to the original ping pong. He's quoted in this article, I handed out an article for it, where they have your statement about the success of the diplomacy. So, I try to keep it short, so we're going to cut it down. One more two hours. <laughs> thank you. So thank you very much. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Sunny Corona, and I'm here today with my husband John. My husband and I have only been playing table tennis for five years, and we started because my husband was invited to play 
in a company-sponsored sporting event that was to be held in Paris. So he began to play uh, and prepare for it a year in advance. And during that time, he said to me, well, perhaps you should take up the sport as well, because we thought it would be something that would be fun for both of us to do. So that being said, I entered my first tournament with absolutely no training whatsoever, the Eastern Open, and was promptly beaten by every person that I faced. <laughs> and by the way, every opponent was a child under the age of 10. <laughs> so with that, I told my husband, I do not want that to happen to me again. So jointly, we began taking lessons with Lily Yip. <laughs> At that time, I was a right-handed player. And after about a year and a half, I sustained a shoulder injury and I needed surgery. And I was never quite the same after that. So my doctor suggested that I quit the sport altogether. So I left his office in tears and never expected to love a sport so much uh, this late in life. So my husband suggested that I switch to my left hand, which as you might imagine is not easy. If you've ever tried to use your other hand, it doesn't work. And it's not just about switching your hand, you have to retrain your entire body to move in an unnatural way. And I can assure you, I would have quit a long time ago had it not been for Lily helping me. Um, um, my husband has also been my biggest supporter in my quest to become a better player with my left-handed handicap. Um, in fact, this past Valentine's Day, ladies, you know, we all like to get flowers. And <laughs> So I came home to a bouquet of flowers, and within the bouquet was this little handmade paddle. <laughs> and I opened it up, oh. and as you can see, there's the name Adam, which is Lily's son, and Lily's name, with numbers 1 through 10. And I promptly said to my husband, what is the meaning of this? And what he told me is that he had purchased me 20 lessons from the best <laughs> in the country. Wow. Best gift ever for me. Through table tennis, my husband and I have found fun and frustration, because you know the game is not easy. We have made many new friends. We have traveled the country playing tournaments due to the USATT's schedule of nationwide tournaments. So we visit friends and family wherever we go, and of course that's great because then we have a built-in cheering section wherever we go as well. So in closing, I want to say that I'm sure someday my husband and I will still be playing in the senior games uh, because as we found out, it's fun to play whether you're 7 or 70. Um, so on behalf of John and myself, Barry and Lily, we want to thank you for not only helping us, but for opening this wonderful center and for including this, uh, us on this special day marking the 40th anniversary of Ping Pong Diplomacy. And with that I say, shi shi. <laughs> Uh 这次庆祝中美乒乓外交四十周年亚文杯团体比赛将有十六个队参加比赛那么下面呢我们讲讲这个比赛的办法第一个比赛的安排呢准备是分两个阶段进行第一个阶段十六个队将分成四个小组每个
多少顺序啊？七场，第一场是 A 对 X， 第二场是 B 对 Y， 第三场是 C 对 Z， 第四场是双打，就由各个队出场的三位队员中两位组成。第五场是 A 对 Y， 第六场是 B 对 Z， 第七场是 C 对 X。这个就是比赛的出场顺序。本人呢，值此啊，预祝比赛圆满成功。同时，也希望这一次我们的民间这个亚文杯的团体比赛是一个良好的开始，使到美国的乒乓球运动能够走向职业化。谢谢大家。Thank you all for coming. I have a question. <laughs> I'm trying to look at them first. So you okay. ask. Well, number one, I think the uh, congratulations, Lily, for the grand yeah. opening right here not too long ago, and the glad to have the honor to be here uh, meeting all of you guys. Uh, on behalf of ISP and TV Internet World Television, that you guys can watch all this tonight, the news over the internet world, but as long as you have a computer access to it. Um, the first question for Lily Yip is that maybe we should have something to post the games, you know, instruction for all that, so we can put it on the website uh, to tell people how to apply this and things like that. But I think I just want to make one point is the uh, the present from George as the original member of China in China, 1971. It's a great, great tribute, and also uh, it's a great strength for strengthening the, the relationship between China through the ping pong little table tennis sport. And I think I think that on behalf of all the Chinese here, we can thank you for coming here, even though you are over 80 years old. If I you don't mind my mentioning <laughs> that. <laughs> But you still look wonderful. You wish your longevity <laughs> by playing ping pong. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the next question we're going to ask the the uh, year to get. We men Ya Wen Bei this is the first time, is that start to do this. We will still have more events. It is very important. It is not only just to participate in the local events. 第一次，那每以后我们每年都在这个时候可以看到我们继续。我们在计划的。OK <笑>。我想那个那个呃，亚文杯头一次比赛的话，第一次总共就是说我们时间很短，只有一个多月时间准备，是吧？对对对。那我们有没有什么年龄限制呢？呃，这个具体专业问题要请教你。现在其实还没公布之前，已经都有。很多都踊跃报名，都已经有十二个队。那就是说，像我们这些中年人也 qualify 吗？有没有？当然，当然，当然。Any age， 没有 any age 的可以。对，只要 pick the top three 最好的行。那我的展示开始就到这儿了，看他们了。想要问一下你，啊、oh, ，sorry。以前你们那个每次活动都有不同的那个奖品，我记得有的时候你们好像还有机票奖品。那这次的话，不知道那个胡老板这边和其他的，因为毕竟是说每天要四十年的一个大型活动，不知道会有什么出来。我们都凡是参加比赛都有 T 恤秀，就是 Waiters 啊公司赞助的，还有。啊，总奖金就两千五百块钱，算、嗯、是、嗯、最高的，就是最高奖。总奖金，总的奖金最高，不是？不是，还是共同还是？对对对，对对对，这里都写出来。对对对，那、啊、总共两千五，就团体冠军是六百块钱。还有单打的冠军好像三百，每一项不同水平都有。三米三，一二三，一二三都有，六百、三百、一百五，啊，再给你那个什么？嗯，在我那个 H Q。今天完了，晚上放在网站。还有奖品。OK， 我有一个问题啊，我有个问题想问一下 g e o r g 啊，就是你刚刚才说了一下，就是说四十年来，就是乒乓球在中美这个外交史上，是不是还要继续发挥它的？有没有什么力？他一直都在谈一直。Uh, yeah, very, yes, very much so as a matter of fact. And, uh, 
the continued celebration of being on the diplomacy is testament to the fact that uh, it has such significant bearing on uh, the, the, the world as it is, because ping pong was used as the vehicle for paving the way for establishing better relations between the two countries. And it only shows that where governments have failed, sports have succeeded. Uh, have never been to ping pong. Uh, we may never have established the kind of relationship we now uh, are experiencing between uh, two of the major powers of the world. And I, I would also hope that you would add in your reporting that ping pong or table tennis provides a lot of health benefits to individuals. Like I told Lily earlier, uh, when played at one level, uh, it's excellent for the hand-eye coordination because there are athletes in different sports that play a little thing to either maintain or improve their hand-eye coordination. When played at a higher level, uh, it's good for the cardiovascular. At the highest level, of course, it's a good form of aerobics because of the constant movement that's involved. Uh, it's one, maybe, of the very few sports that does not discriminate against age, sex, height, size. It accommodates people of all ages, sizes. Uh, it's a 24-hour-a-day game. Uh, <laughs> and um, I would encourage everyone to get involved and uh, now that Lily has opened up this, this beautiful center uh, I think many people should check it out and become a part of what she has to offer. So every day is a celebration? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I have a question. You have two questions. 你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对你跟我对
吗？后背一个，后背一个，后背一个，后背一个，后背。